Giles and I continue This is the video that propelled him into the in national spotlight. Hannah posed as the prostitute seeking to house underage girls trafficked in from El Salvador. And I posed as her pimp boyfriend banker. James O'Keefe snuck cameras into Acorn, a federally funded community group which provides housing assistance for the poor. Eden is in a unique line of work. It's a sense of client base, male clients. You earn X amount of dollars, find another name. Find another, and, another name for And, uh, and don't say that you're, you're prostituting or whatever. The revelation prompted Congress to pull funding from the organization and it's since dissolved. This video and others of a similar nature made O'Keefe famous for a time. I was scheduled to speak in New Hampshire. And now he's out with a book on his experiences. Only a madman would have predicted that a bunch of young people with no money would shake up Acorn and defund them. But even more crazy than that was after we spent our own money to do it and tried to give it to lawmakers on a silver platter, they, they, they only got greedy and tried to, to use it for their own gain. Prior to the election, he focused his efforts on voter fraud and says he was able to cast a ballot under Attorney General Eric Holder's name. I actually forgot my ID. You don't need it, sir. In his new book, Breakthrough, O'Keefe writes about many of these experiences from his point of view. Now, along the way, there have been other investigations and interpretations written about what he's found. Some independent investigations showed O'Keefe's claims were false. His videos edited in a way that showed something that didn't actually happen. O'Keefe even ended up having to pay $100,000 to one of those Acorn employees for smearing them. For O'Keefe, though, the videos and exposés will continue. As a citizen journalist, my only job is to expose what is true. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.